K-pop girl band Black Swan is here in India. The group, which consists of Fatu, NV, Gabi and Sriya, impressed the large crowd of 40,000 plus people with their performance when they performed at the Hockey World Cup this year in Odisha. Interestingly, Black Swan is the only active K-pop group with all foreign members. To break down their time spent in India and to talk about their future plans, we have the band with us. Hello girls and welcome to Weon. Yeah. My first question is to all of you. How was your trip to India? I also want to know about your performance at the Hockey World Cup. Were you nervous? Oh, so the travel, we were, we were really tired coming to India, like during the travel. But at the time that we like stepped on India, we were, oh my God, I would do everything. Like uh, our energy came back and we are like, Really excited to like performance yeah. and yes, it was really good. The art coming. Yeah, for me, I was really, really excited to come to India because Sri has been telling so much great stuff about India, and I can tell you, it does not disappoint. It's even better than she told us. To oh, the food! The food! <laughs> <laughs> please, please, I needed more in my life. It was amazing. The concert, the hockey was amazing. The energy. We were a bit nervous. But from the moment we started, like the crowd was so welcoming, and so warm, so we just had a lot. Yeah, especially I was, I was definitely nervous because I had been just oh. debuted as a member of the group, and I was training for like two months before all of this had happened. Yeah, yeah. So I was at first I was like, ah, oh, I got this. It's not, it's not a problem. <laughs> and then once we actually got there and we were about to go on stage, I was like. <laughs> but I think once we, once we stepped on there and the music had started, and I wasn't worried about anything else. Wow. Yeah. Thank you. It was really good. The travel, mm. oh, the travel was good for me. I don't know about you guys. <laughs> I ate, I slept, I slept. That's all that matters. But the travel was good in India. Uh, I. I it was so beautiful. I love the architecture and the colors and the artwork out here that they put. My next uh, question is for uh, Shreya. You have interacted with Weon earlier and now you are popular in uh, K-pop. What difference do you feel between Indian culture and the popular K-pop culture? Um, first of all, I would say that K-pop is more like Western and uh, our Indian is like more classical. So there are two different things. Um, so it, it was kind of hard to do in Western when you learn some like singing in uh, Indian classical, uh, it's really hard to change. But everyone helped me over here. I practiced a lot. Oh my God. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it took me one year to catch almost now one year. I took six months uh, training and then uh, finally I can do both of, but I'm still not that much good, but I try my best to do that. And what is different here yeah, is that both are really pretty and both are good in their own ways. That's very fascinating. But coming to Gabi now, uh, you, you and Shreya made news last year when you joined Black Swan. You are from Brazil. What inspiration have you personally taken from your native place? Has that helped you in your journey as a K-pop star? My biggest inspiration for sure is the singer Anita because she came from a, uh, a really small place and everyone always told her that oh, your dream is too big, you can't achieve. And yeah. now she's really famous and like international singer and almost everyone know her. So she's for sure my biggest inspiration, like from Brazil. And she helped me without knowing she helped me to achieve this. Oh. That's very interesting. My next question is for uh, Fatou. It's a question I have to ask. What explains the popularity and the huge fan following of K-pop? This year, Afrobeats was really popular in K-pop. And of course, that reached countries where Afrobeats are popular. They get to know K-pop through that. So I feel like it's just now with so many cultures involved in K-pop, it's naturally, it's just natural for it to be so worldwide, like global in pop, I think. Right. Envy, you come from the United States, a place where there's been a rise of K-pop. Why do you think it has become such a popular form of entertainment in the United States? Like you said, like, they have so many different um, 
cultures and aspects that are thrown into the K-pop music industry nowadays. So it can really reach to so many people and so many different types of sounds that people will like. But personally, each person who is a fan of K-pop has their own style and group that they love with mm-hmm. their heart. And um, the idols who they support, they give them so something to reach for, something to hope for, something to be happy for in their life. And it's just touching to that fan to like be loved by someone and someone to help them really inspire them throughout their whole life. Because that's what happened with me with my favorite was One Us and they kind of was always there for me. But everybody who, you know, might love BTS or Blackpink, Stray Kids, Shiny, oh. there's always one group that is always out there for that one person. I think that's how things spread. And like, oh, you like this group? Oh my gosh, I love this group. <laughs> and so just it gets <laughs> around. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's it's like a, the start of a new year right now, right? So it's kind of the best time of the year to to make like a future projection of like what are your goals or your res- your resolutions, you know, for twenty twenty three. Like, if we go just go like uh, one by one, what what would you say is your goal for this year? For sure, achieve the highest position as possible on chart uh, with the new song <laughs> and releasing more and more like good music to our. Luminous fans and one step at a time, but we also have really big dreams. Yes. For me, it would be this year connecting more with Lumina gotcha. because they've been the synthesizer and they keep supporting us. So I just really want to be even closer, more close, like maybe like this. <laughs> and then also release lots of music, which is actually coming. It's coming. It perform. <laughs> I want to travel. I want to meet every single Lumina out there. Yeah, this year. every country as possible. Yes. Yeah, every country as possible. I think for me, um, again with the charts and then meeting Lumina. But personally, I just want to practice more because I, there's still so much that I have yet to learn and to perfect. And nothing's ever going to be perfect, but at least I always strive to do my best, whether it's perfect or not, um, but make sure it's at least up to par. Well, we will certainly be following where you guys are performing next, and we will, we will keep a close eye on, uh, you know, how, how it goes with you guys topping the charts and, uh, you know, months and years ahead. But uh, thank you very, very much for uh, taking part in this interview. And uh, I will say the famous faces behind Black Swan. Thanks for talking to us and educating me about K-pop today. I'm sure your fans will be watching. Thank, thank you for having me. Thank you so much.